Welcome to class. Today we are going to be looking at National Library of Virtual Manipulatives by Utah State University to solve some algebraic equations using their balance scale manipulative. The web address URL is nlvm.usu.edu. And when you type that into your address bar, you're going to appear on a screen that looks like this. There's many different areas of math we can investigate as well as different grade levels. Today we're going to be working in the algebra group at grade level 6 to 8, so you'll want to just click on the box that has the teacher's earring in it. That brings up a menu of different algebra applications and manipulatives that we can investigate in the 6 to 8 grade level. Today we're going to be working on that first one up there, so just click on Algebra Balance Scales. Here you see we have a scale as well as an algebraic equation up at the top written in black. And what we have to do is set this equation up by clicking on either an X or a 1 and dragging it to the appropriate side of the scale. The 4X that leads this equation means I need 4X blocks. So I'm going to click on the X block and I drag it and put it on that side of the scale. The 4 means I need 4 of them, so I'm going to repeat that until I have 4 X's. A plus 1 means I need to click and drag over one of the 1 blocks. The equal sign represents the middle of your scale. So whatever's on the right side of the equal sign goes on the right side of the scale. A 2X means I need 2 of the X blocks, so I drag those over with my mouse. A plus 5 means I need 5 ones. So I drag those over with my mouse. Once I have the equation set up, you'll notice that the scale is balanced. I click continue, and now I can work on solving this equation. Keeping in mind that solving means to figure out what one of the x blocks weighs all by itself. So I need to get rid of a bunch of stuff from here so that one of the sides of the scale just has one x block on it. You'll notice I have plus, minus, times, and divide blocks right here in the middle of the screen. That allows me to adjust the things that are on the sides of the scale. What I notice first is this little one block on the left looks like it's out of place. So what I'm going to do is take it away. Take away means minus, so I'm going to click on the minus button. And I just tell in the box right here what I want it to take away. I want to take away a one you'll notice that it automatically takes it away from both sides of the scale and up here in the white box I get they keep track of what my scale says on each thing that I do keep in mind my goal is to get one of the X blocks by itself on one side of the scale and I notice that I've got four on the left and two on the right so I could get rid of these two on the right keeping in mind that whatever I do happens to both sides so if I take away again with the minus button two X's. So I type a 2x into this box, and what that's going to do for me is take away 2x blocks from each side. The reason I did that is because I do have to get both 1x all by itself, and now I have all of the x's together on one side of the scale, and all of the numbers together on the other. Now looking at this, I don't want to take away an x because I don't have a t an x to take away on the right side. To get just 1x block all by itself, I'm going to want to switch operations to division. Think of division as cutting each side in half, so I'm going to divide by 2. If I cut this side in half, all that will remain is one x block. So I click on go, and it performs that operation for me. Now I have the solu solution to the equation. You'll notice down here the word correct appeared. That's because I know that one x block weighs as much as two 1 blocks. So in the equation 4x plus 1 equals 2x plus 5, the correct solution is x equals 2, because to make that equation true, I can substitute a 2 in for the x, and both sides still remain equal. 